here is Amanda and I hope my camera is doing fine because I'm in autofocus, not in manual, which I'm typically in. But we're in autofocus today. So you guys can tell by the title, today's video is actually going to be a pet supply haul specifically for fish. So if you guys don't want to watch this and I guess like click off or whatever. But if you guys are actually from the fish hobby part of YouTube, hi, hello, my name is Amanda. I don't always or I'm not always going to make fish videos, but I would still appreciate it if you guys would stick around and hit the subscribe button down below. But yeah, so I did buy a bunch of stuff to start an aquarium and everything like that, so I'm going to go ahead and go through that with you all today. It's going to be like an unboxing, but this is going to kind of be a series. So today's video is going to be an unboxing, obviously, and the next video is going to be me setting up my tank and then adding fish and then just like updates like so on and so forth so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this series I'm so excited for this I've been wanting a fish tank for literally like several months now and it's just like ridiculous I've probably seen every single video on YouTube about fish tanks so yeah we'll find this video any longer than it has to be let's just go ahead and get started okay so I went in stores in two different places well actually I ordered something from Petco online but I picked it up at the store and I put my hair up because it's gonna be like a hot video but anyway um, I guess we'll just go ahead and start with those and then do the actual boxes and like packages and stuff just to get it out of the way so first from Petco I ordered a thermometer online for my fish tank because the starter kit that I got did not come with a thermometer so I went ahead and got the JW aquatic um, magnet thermometer so it looks like this and this magnet goes on the outside and this part's on the inside of the thermometer and it has like a green highlighted zone for the safe temperature um, mainly for tropical fish and kind of just any fish in general so I thought that was pretty cool because I do want to have like a tropical community tank I think I'm not sure yet but yeah so I got that and the next thing I got from Petco was actually a fish tank I mean a fish tank what the heck a fish net because I don't have one already this is by a magic aquarium or something like that it looks like that um, it's kind of small I was like is that not too small but they didn't have and in between from this one and the big one but it looks like the right size because I'm not going to get fish that are like super big anyway and if I get a betta I'm probably going to use my hand to transfer it I'm not sure yet so now from Walmart so in store from Walmart um, I picked up different artificial like aquarium plants everything else that I got from Walmart was like online which I'll go through that later but actually the first thing it's this plant that kind of has like red it's kind of green and red this one I already had from a future aquarium like I mean a past aquarium not a future aquarium so yeah anyway the next thing that I got was this piece of grass which I thought was so 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 beautiful it was like two dollars I did make sure that it was super soft since I do want to possibly get a better in the future I don't want its fin to be hurt so it's super soft on the top once again I paid two dollars for this I might go back and get a second one uh, so yeah I thought it was pretty cool it has this nice base that will be dug under the substrate so I thought that was nice then next I got this pack of different artificial plants I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys so it comes with three it says one small which is four to five inches and then two mediums which are about eight inches each so for the small one, it's this beautiful like green plant that has a cute uh, pink flower on it. Hopefully my camera focuses. But it just looks like this. They all have ceramic bases, so that's nice. Once again, these are super, super soft. So the next one, this is one of the 8-inch plants. Um, it's on the soft side. Of course, it's not too soft, but since I'm probably, or I'm still debating about whether or not I'm going to get a better, if I do get one, I might remove this from my tank if I do see that it has problems. But the bristles, like although they look sharp, they do feel pretty soft so once again um, I'll just keep my eye on this one but this one's green and like a purple color so I wanted all my plants to kind of have green on it because I do I love green and then I also love color so I wanted to make sure that it, it's obviously not going to look natural if they're artificial plants but I wanted to still have some green in there if that makes sense because I didn't want to get any live plants just yet since I'm not having like a soil or a substrate that's um, meant for live plants but anyway, um, the last plant that comes in that is this green one that has like hot pink towards the ends of it and I thought it was really, really pretty. So yeah, those are all the, th or those are the four, five, five plants? Yeah, five plants that I have as of right now for my aquarium. And of course, when I put these in the tank, I'm going to wash them and everything, but that's obviously going to be shown in the setting up my tank video. 
But now for the next package, we'll just go ahead and go straight onto Amazon. So while I was buying these different products, I did jump like from different sites back and forth to find what the most affordable. Like you would, I don't think you'd be surprised because everyone kind of knows this. Just because you get one item from a, diff a specific place doesn't mean you can't find it anywhere else cheaper. Like this I originally bought on Amazon for I think like $6 and I found it at Petco for 3 So I was like, what the heck, like I'm obviously going to buy it from there so I canceled the order off Amazon. But yeah. So anyway, from Amazon I got a Tetra H10 or HT10 um, 2 to 10 gallon aquarium heater because my tank obviously did not come with one that's why I bought it. So I read super good reviews about this one. It is not adjustable but it's meant for the right gallon and it has like a little red dot that'll make sure to turn off. So yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was super super cool and I really liked it. And it says it'll keep the tank at like a 78 degree. 78 plus or minus 2 around there. It'll keep it at a good temperature of the water as long as it's in the safe zone, we're good. But obviously I'm going to try to get fish where it have their right temperature. That way they're not discomfortable or uncomfortable. Discomfortable, what the heck. But yeah, so I got that heater and like I said, I read really good reviews on it. So I'm happy for that. Next, we'll go on to this box from Walmart. So this one has my substrate in it, which is probably why it is super heavy because I got 10 pounds worth of substrate, if I remember correctly. So on an article that I was reading from this local fish store um, here in San Antonio, they were like, you don't have to necessarily get the most expensive things to have your tank run the best. It's more so about like just keeping an eye on it, keeping it clean, everything like that. And so I was like, wow, like that doesn't make me feel bad for buying all my stuff at Walmart because Walmart honestly had the, like the cheapest things, you guys. But I don't know, so I got everything from there. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this and then come back to you guys. Okay, so when you open up the box, this is what you first see. Did I didn't show you my address, right? Well, I think it's too small for you to see. Whatever. Anyway, it comes with these air packs. Can I pop one? No, it's not working. Okay. Well, these three things. And then here's our stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and pull out from this bag or this box is this um, white pack of aquarium gravel. So I got it in white because the theme of my room is like white, green, blue, and then just basically color all over. So since I have white with color and not black with color, I figured I would just go ahead and get white. That way it matches my room. Um, and also, I, I know a lot of aquarium channels and stuff they always put like black backdrops and stuff to make the colors pop and although that would make the colors pop super beautifully I figured I would still just go with white so I went ahead and got that this is a five pound bag because I have a 10 gallon tank but to go along with that I also got a pack of like natural kind of gravel looking I guess so it's just like brown rocks and stuff so I'm either gonna mix the substrate or pour all of the white one in and then half of the brown. It depends on how far up it fills in my tank because um, I heard it's good to have like a couple inches thick worth of substrate and not just like one super thin layer. So I got those two packs. Then in here I got these two like chemical type products I guess. So the first thing, wow these are bigger than I thought they were going to be. So the first one is an aqua safe, which makes um, the tap water safe, and it basically dechlorinates conditions and protects like the water and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. It says use monthly or whatever. Uh, yeah, so it instantly works to make tap water safe for your fish. So it's basically a water conditioner. Um, from what I read, that's what it was. And it says it treats up to 100 gallons, so I thought that was pretty cool. These are actually, like I said, bigger than I thought they were going to be. And from what I, from my knowledge, they're like drops things like it's not completely open to the top yeah so what you do is like um, use it as drops so I thought that was pretty cool so there's that one then the last thing in this box is the safe start which cycles new aquariums so it starts it up removes ammonia has starter bacteria and it's for freshwater aquariums so I thought this was super super cool because obviously I'm not gonna put my fish in right away like I don't even have fish to put into my tank tomorrow even so I think I'm gonna go Saturday and buy my first two fish I'm gonna start with two fish and then let it cycle along with this and those two fish and then just kind of add fish gradually that way I don't have like an ammonia spike or anything 
Um, so yeah, I went ahead and got this, and I got a decent size as well. So these are like the same size bottle, and this one is the or they're both by Tetra. A lot of the things that I got are by Tetra. So yeah. Now, lastly, I got a 10 gallon aquarium starter kit. My address is on this, so I'm gonna try to cover it. But let's see if I can kind of show you guys. So it is by Aquaculture, and I got this one because I literally only spent $30 on it, which is way cheaper than what I would have paid for like a top fin tank, um, a starter kit as well for the same gallon. So I figured I would just go ahead and go with this, and this comes with different things, and it shows you on the back what it comes with. So it comes with the glass aquarium a lighting system on the lid, so like the LEDs are in there, which is going to make my fish look so beautiful. I'm so excited. And then it comes with a Tetra 210i internal filter, and um, I'm probably going to go out and buy a pack of cartridges just so I already have them and I don't have to wait to look till like it gets dirty to change it. I'll just already have it. Then it comes with um, enough aqua safe conditioner to go ahead and start up the tank as well as like a little pack of, of fish food um, flakes. And then yeah, so that's everything that comes with it. And it tells you what else you need to know. So it has the heater, the safe start, which I already bought, so I bought both of those things. It says 10 pounds of gravel, which is exactly what I bought. A gravel cleaner, which is a siphon, and I figured I would go back and get that another day because if I start with just two fish, I'm pretty sure I can be a little lenient on how long it takes for me to get a siphon. I just have to save up money, which I should be getting soon anyway. So there's that. And then it has an air pump, which I don't think are too, too important. It says right here that it is, so like I'll probably go and get at least one. Plants and decor, which I already have. Fish net, I have an aquarium background, which is um, optional. And then, yeah, so I think it's pretty cool. And it tells you how to clean your aquarium, so like how to do a water change. And then on this side, it tells you which fish and how many. It just has a bunch of different details. And I love that, and I'm so excited for it. But if you guys want to see me actually unbox this part, then you're going to have to watch my next video. Okay, guys, so that was all for this haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed once again. Like I said, in my next video in the fish series, you guys will be able to see me actually set up my tank, and I'm going to go through all the steps, like washing my plants, washing my gravel, washing the tank, putting everything together, different things like that. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to go ahead and stay tuned as well as subscribe down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video or just pet keeping in general, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. If you are part of the fish hobby, part of YouTube, go ahead and comment down below and let me know any like stock ideas because I still don't know exactly what I want to do with my tank. But I think the first two fish I want to get is a Corydora and probably a Corydora or a Pygmy and then one platy just to kind of start it off. So I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. If you guys have any tips or anything, just go ahead and comment down below and let me know. Um, but yeah, so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All my social media links will be in the down bar below, so make sure to go follow me on all of those. But yeah, so I love you guys all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello.